This is the 6.3 series fisheye camera. This is the 6 megapixel. There are other resolutions, 3 megapixel and 12 megapixel. They're great cameras. They have a lot of functionality. They can be very complex. They have different modes, a lot of different settings. And the problem is when you add the additional channels from the fisheye and then you use Hikevision's free IVMS 4200 software to view the cameras. Let me show you what happens. So I have a DVR here, hybrid DVR. And when I have this fisheye camera added, and these are the additional channels. So when I drag this folder over to view all the cameras on the DVR, it tries to pull up all the streams. So the main fisheye channel comes up no problem, but these additional channels have an error. And that is because those additional channels do not have substreams. All the other cameras have, uh, have two streams. They have a substream and a mainstream. And what this software does is when you're viewing more than four channels at once, it automatically selects the substream when you're viewing more than four channels at once. And since there are no substreams, they don't come up. So see if I double click on one of these to go full screen, it automatically switches to the mainstream and then it works. But of course, you want it to work when you're viewing all the cameras, right? So one way that you can fix that, I don't really like this way, but you can go to Tool, System Configuration, Image Settings, and you can uncheck that auto change stream type. So if I do that and save, So let me just stop the video now. Now I can right click on the cameras in my camera list and I can actually select the stream that I want to play. So it's on mainstream, I'll leave it like that. They're all on mainstream now. So now that they're manually set to mainstream, they all come up. However, now that they're all on mainstream, <coughs> say you had a bunch of other regular cameras that have mainstream and substream, so you had 32 cameras or channels and if you set them all to mainstream that's going to retake a lot more bandwidth and a lot more uh, CPU load on your computer and you might have trouble decoding displaying all that video so that's not good so if you the, what you can do then is you can set all the other normal cameras to use the substream then when you go full screen they're still going to be in substream because it's not going to auto change and then you're going to have a, uh, a lesser quality image because it's showing you the substream and you'd have to manually change it to mainstream so that's why I don't like that solution so I'm going to show you a better solution so I'll go back into my system configuration and re-enable auto change stream type because I want that feature and I'm going to get it to work with that feature enabled Okay, so let me stop the live view, and now what I need to do is I need to change the way that those extra channels from the fisheye are added to the NVR. So I pull up my <coughs> my NVR's web page by going to its IP address and log into it, which I've already done. Now go to configuration, camera management. And here's all the channels that are added to the NVR. So what I'm going to do is delete these extra channels that were added in the normal way. See when you add the fisheye camera on the local interface of the NVR, it gives you the option to add all the extra channels. And that's the normal way. So I'm going to delete those. Okay, they're deleted. Now I'm going to add the channels with uh, custom protocols. So click custom protocol and you can see the information I've already entered. So what I did is uh, there's all these protocols available or that you can set up uh, 1 through 16. So I choose custom protocol 1 and I gave it a name. I called it camera channel 2 because this protocol can be accessed the second channel from any camera like this because here's the mainstream settings 
and these are all these first three are default but this is how you should have it RTSP for the protocol automatic transfer protocol and port 554 is the default RTSP port in the Hike Vision cameras so if you change that then of course you have to change it here and then the stream path this is the Hike Vision stream path for the RTSP uh, channel it's streaming slash channels slash and then a number. The number is the channel number and then the stream number. And the stream number has to be two digits. What I'm doing here is I'm saying channel two, stream one. And that's going to give me the second channel, the mainstream of the second channel from the fisheye or whatever camera um, I connect with this protocol. Okay, then you want to copy that stream path in all these settings over to the substream. Make sure it's enabled. Have the exact same settings here. So what you're doing is you're telling the NVR to use the same exact stream for the mainstream and the substream. Since you only have one stream, that's what you can do. So I click OK. My custom protocol is set up. And I'd have to create more custom protocols for the additional channels. So I go to custom protocol 2. And I'd have to set that up. I could say cam channel 3 and then I'd put in streaming channels 301. Copy that, go to substream, paste, click OK. So now I have protocols for channels 2 and 3 from the fisheye. You need to refresh this page, the camera management page in your browser. And that's going to reload those custom protocols that you just put in. So make sure you do that before you add. Okay, now add camera's address. Now I can choose my protocol. You can see both of them show up now. So I'll choose cam chan 2. Put in the camera's username, password. Click OK. Then I'll do it again. For the third channel. OK. You can see the uh, second one is online already. So you can give that a few seconds to connect and then refresh the page you'll see that they're all online now so as long as your camera is accessible uh, from the NVR and you have all the right settings it's going to work now I'm done adding the camera so I go back to my software and it's, it may take a, a little bit for the cameras to refresh so I just gave the software a minute and now you can see the it's refreshed its settings. It, it sees that there's another camera. And you can see they're all working now. So I go to tool just to show you system configuration, image, and I do have auto change stream type enabled still. And I'm unable to manually select the streams. So you can see it's working. It's using the mainstream for the substream and mainstream. The next issue that you may run into is recording the extra fisheye channels upon motion detection. The extra channels don't do motion detection, so in order to make those record when there is motion, you have to trigger those to be recorded based on the motion from the main fisheye channel. So I'll show you how to do that now. I'm in the NVR's web configuration, and now we want to go to the event page. This is where motion detection is set up. So I'll go to my main fisheye channel. So this one does support motion detection. So I want to make sure this one is enabled. It has a check mark for enable motion detection. And you need to have the red grid present. That's where it's going to detect motion. And then we want to use this channel to trigger the other channels to record. So I go to linkage method. And you'll see here we have a trigger channel list. These are all the camera channels. If you go down, you can see that 
by default this channel is already checked so when this channel detects motion it records so if we want the other ones like those other additional two channels I added to be recorded as well we just check those and then click Save and it's as simple as that so now when there's motion detected anywhere in the fisheye image within the grid that you have then it will trigger all of those channels to record the other thing about adding the extra fisheye channels uh, with the RTSP stream is that you lose the ability to do the PTZ control. So let me show you. So I'll pull those cameras up. Here's the only EPTZ channel I've added. And now if I try to do EPTZ control, um, it says it does not support because it's just simply a video stream. It's not connected in the normal way. But typically that should be okay because if you're using those extra channels, you usually have them pointed at specific areas, maybe they're zoomed in, and they're just meant to capture that one area. And of course, you can also record the entire fisheye image. So everything in that virtual PTZ is also contained in the fisheye image. And you can always do the fisheye expansion from this main fisheye channel, whether you're in live view or in playback. So if I went to playback, I would still have this fisheye expansion option and I could still do uh, you know, virtual PTZ and get pretty much the same image as you see there.